I love to look good cheap. Who doesn't, right? Um, so, can you imagine my surprise when one day... <laughs> seeing these lovely hats in the background and you want to know where I got my hats from um, so I'm here to say that usually I purchase my hats from all different places I wouldn't say I've got a, like a specific place where I will go and look for hats um, eBay is a good one uh, SC is a good one but these hats in, in particularly I actually got a vintage fairs sure what makes these hats special is the bargain you know me I love a good bargain I love to look good yes but I love to look good cheap who doesn't right um so can you imagine my surprise when one day I'm ha I'm at a vintage fair and I noticed this lady selling some hats uh, they looked quite expensive to be honest so I'm like which these days like you have to really um, get lucky to kind of get the good bargains at the vintage fairs they're getting so expensive hat fell, but okay so I've always wanted a hat like this um, I don't know if you know that famous not if you know if you've come across that famous Dior new look um, photo with the lady with the big uh, the big what, what what shape would you call this it's not pancake pancakes are flat but the big hat and she's got like a blazer on it and a circle skirt um that famous um picture anyway new look picture it reminded me of that this hat but yeah so i always wanted one of that hat and so i just made my mind up that i was going to purchase this um so yeah let me go ahead and try it on so you can see and maybe i can drag your memory so yeah i forgot what the shape of hat's called i've got brain freeze right now but it's basically like this it goes perfect with this blouse i must say actually um so she told me it was 38 pounds and I was like, okay, that's reasonable for something that I've always wanted. I know this is one of those purchases that if I didn't get it, I know I would definitely have went home that evening and like be kicking myself like, why? Why didn't you get it? You know, so the fact that I got it, I was really pleased. But I managed to um, bring her down to 30 um, because I also saw another hat that she had. Let me show you. She had another hat, and this is more of a 50s uh, style hat. This is more of a 50s style hat she had. And uh, um, I said, okay, if I get, when you got these fairs, prepare, prepare to bargain as well. I mean, some some more than any, is, like, they're really difficult to bargain with, and they, they've got their mindset up. The key is actually to wait till the end when they're getting a bit desperate to sell something, and they want to sell. So, yeah this was towards the end i said to her okay if i get those two hats I'm, i always wanted a brown hat i've got no brown hat actually i've got one brown two brown hats actually but i needed more brown hats so when i saw this i was like okay how much how much is for this she said oh, okay it's 15 so i said okay would you give me that one for 30 and this one for 10 and she said okay cool and just like that a bargain was struck and basically this you wear to the side like so with the little fringe coming down perfect for autumn this color i think make a addition to a great outfit i must say so those two hats i bought from one seller on the same day 
so at this point i was in the buy the buying mood now yeah i got two items that i really liked so i went back to the other lady that i saw with the hat and that's the thing when i can't find any any um dresses or outfits that i like i just tend to just say okay accessories because as i've explained in previous videos that accessories basically you can just bring any outfits alive you know like take this blouse for instance that i'm wearing if i then add a hat it basically changes the whole thing not that i think this particular hat goes with this maybe it does it can yeah actually it can um that's the thing i like about short hair as well that's one of the reasons why i like my new haircut because i love hats i love wearing hats and uh it fits with any hats that i have now which is perfect so yeah i bought this hat wait before i even go further right so i said to the lady um how much are your hats and she said five pounds I beg your pardon? She said five pounds. Did she just say five pounds? I got gas. Oh my god. I got so excited. When she said five pounds, I was like, what? I, I had to ask her a second time just in case she said 50 and I heard five. <laughs> I mean, come on, that is possible. <laughs> so, when she said five, I was like, oh my god. Okay, I want that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. I said, in fact, can you give me all of them for a price? And she's like, no, you're pushing it. Um, no, I'm sorry, they're, they're already cheap already. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. You have a point, fair enough. Like, if that's the thing. When I heard she said five pounds for the hat, I was like, oh my god, I just bought a hat, one hat for 30 pounds, and here am I getting all these hats, five pounds each, like seriously? You know, and I think these hats were equally as good, you know, so, but that's it, sometimes some sellers are probably closing their business down or they want to get new stock or for whatever reason, I do not care. All I know that this was my lucky day, you know, I felt like it was. So, yeah, you've got this beautiful hat. Um, don't even know the shape, that I'll call it a shape, but it sits perfectly on the head, especially having low hair. Uh, it's got like a fur detail, so this is going to look nice in the winter. This is going to look nice. I can just imagine. In fact, whilst I'm here, let me just my coat on just to kind of create a winter vibe i'll put my coat on this is my uh love your look vintage inspired circle coat which i love i love this love your look coat because it's kind of giving you a 1950s vibe and uh, more unique uh is this tie that comes with it like if you notice you can wait to cinch the waist and us vintage gear love a cinch waist so this is just a perfect winter coat it's got enough room for uh your skirt and your petticoat um it's wool and with this tie you can also tie it at the back if you're going for that look um and your waist will still be cinched it goes perfect with my hat um because the hat is wool and it's got a hint of fur and this is wool so it to be honest it almost wants to look like they were made for each other doesn't it so moving on time on one hat so we've got this hat which i like this was also te um five pounds brilliant isn't it oh my days so this is the inside so it's one of those hats that you wear like this basically it sits on the head put a hat thing in to be safe but it does sit on the head perfectly and you basically have it like that 
all the glamour oh my god yes and i only paid five pounds oh my days <laughs> to be honest nothing makes me feel even more fabulous to know that i look glamorous and it cost less i didn't spend a fortune to look this way you know that makes me feel that that just makes me feel so good at times um so yeah this art is perfect it sits nicely on the head um as it should it's I don't, i'm gonna bring you close up it's like a velvety material with gathering details perfect so that's one of my five pound purchase i'm going to show you two more just to kind of just to kind of wrap this video up i don't want it to be a long video if you want and you request i can do more on all the hats i purchased that day um there's this other hat which is a similar shape to the hat i paid for for 30 pounds but more floppy um it sits on the head like so at the back perfect i just love short hair honestly and then you can see it's got like a little diamante details going on there and the inside is like a pop of color so it'd be great if your your gloves is probably that same color or your dress is the same color as the inside i can see that working really well and it just sits perfectly on the top of the head in the crown area um that this was another great purchase uh let me show you close up it's got a nice little bow on there and velvet that's another fabric i love i just absolutely love velvet it just makes anything look rich to me <laughs> in my opinion so yeah that's another hat for five pounds one more hat for five pounds and then leave it at that i know i've got some colored one as well i think i should show you something in color actually i will this was a black one but i'm going to show you something in color this one which i love is like this 1940s style 30s style hat i would say maybe 30s 30 40s whichever it all depends on how you style it i love this hat look at the details five pound people this color these two colors together look so well you know i can definitely see myself having fun with this and basically how you wear this is it's how you want to really i don't think there's no rule but how i would wear it is just basically to the side like so and there you go five pounds mm -hmm. i love it sometimes i play with the side that i have my hats on so i like it better on this side maybe um once again the details i love you can use you can have a blue accessory blue dress just basically play with the color um in the hat in your outfit and there you have it i showed you four of the how many eight hats how much did i get 60 yeah i showed you four of the hats that i purchased that day and they were all going for five pound i couldn't believe it so when you do go to this vintage fair what the lesson that i've learned is which i've always known you can't judge a book by its cover like da um but don't be afraid to ask look for bargains there's always bargains in some corner like just when you go just once again go with an open mind don't judge um something by its appearance do ask and some of these sellers are open to negotiate so don't be afraid to negotiate um and yeah that's what i've learned and i hope you guys like the hat let me know if you have any favorites i know what my favorite is um my favorite to be honest is the first one that i showed you not one of the five pound ones i liked all of them don't get me wrong but the first one that i showed you i've always wanted one so to get it at what i think is a reasonable price um 30 pounds wasn't bad but i remember walking away that day feeling like yeah today's a good day i got out my bed i found a good bargain all is well in the world <laughs> and i just felt good um 
yeah so it was completely worth it i think in total i spent about 95 pounds that day um and it was the best 95 pounds i've spent in a while maybe i'm exaggerating there i'm sure about other bargains since then but on that day i felt that way so anyway thank you all for watching i'm lady eccentric you know do the damn thing do follow me on my social pages if you haven't already if you are just drop me a line say hi i've seen your video um just so i know that you're watching uh leave a comment like subscribe share you know um